What's up everybody? Today we got a great video for you coming up on a for sale vehicle right here at Stokes Volkswagen. It's sitting right there behind me. It's the 2014 Porsche Panamera. Stay tuned. The general manager in there just told me, he said, Chad, I don't get in a whole lot of vehicles that I would actually like to buy. And he's like, when I sat in that vehicle this morning before I had it cleaned up for you to film it, he's like, Chad, I want to buy it. I said, well, Mike, how much? $99,000. Woo. It's got a price tag on it, folks, but let me tell you, it's probably worth every penny. So let's take a look at this $99,000 Porsche Panamera right now at Stokes Volkswagen. And is it not a beauty, right? Man, you know, just about every Porsche out there is good looking. And as you can see here, it really is good looking, isn't it? And we're going to film it and we're going to take a look at it and we'll see what it's all about. And is it worth every penny of $99,000, right? It's got to be. It's a Porsche. That's right. It's got to be worth that much money. If it wasn't, it just wouldn't be a Porsche. So anyways, we're going to do an in-depth kind of walk around tour. And, you know, a lot of times I call it my condition report video because because what I'll do is I'll go around a pre-owned vehicle and I'll look at the current condition of it so we can make sure if it has any dents, things, or scratches or imperfections, I'll point them out. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll go ahead and start right here on the front end. So far, looking good. I mean, not one dent, ding, or scratch on this car. And like I just said, it was freshly cleaned up today to get filmed. So that's why you're watching this video of it. Beautiful wheels, I mean, fresh with that tire shine. You got Michelin Pilot, Super Sport tires, beautiful alloy wheels, massive five caliper Porsche brakes right there. And then, oh my Lord, look at the slotted rotors behind those wheels. I mean, that's definitely big. It's gotta be 20, 20 inches. And uh, let's take a look. You got a 255 40 series ZR20. So it definitely is a 20 inch wheel on the Porsche. 20s in the back. This is luxury, okay? Just so you know, sunroof. You can tell when it's luxury because you got that nice little shade right there over that window, and then you got a shade in the back. Did you know Bentley does that as well on their vehicles? Boom, you got the shades, you got the spoiler. The spoiler also goes down, it goes up, depending on how fast you're going. It's got a turbo engine up under the hood. I mean, come on, folks. And it's quad exhaust in the back. Look at that. My God, that's a good looking car, right? You know, now there's a lot of y'all out there that may not like the Porsche Panamera. There's some of y'all that just love this car. So it's really up to you on, you know, if it's something that you would see yourself driving. Here's the key right here. Oh yeah, I like the key. I've filmed these before. You know, I used to work with Porsche in Hilton Head, South Carolina many years ago and uh, got to take them for rides. I even drove this car, you know, to an event all the way 45 minutes away, drive back home at one o'clock in the morning in a Porsche Panamera Turbo. And I thought I was cool stuff, right? You would too if you were driving a car like this, riding around town looking all cool and fly. <laughs> So anyways, take a look in the back. Again, you know, when you're looking at luxury vehicles, folks, it's gonna have a lot of leather and a lot of carpet and a lot of cool chrome and silver type things going on, right? So this is your, uh, your cover that goes right over the vehicle, which is really nice. And uh, so that's nice to have. That's a nice little added on accessory there for you. Got this nice cover here that covers the back. And if you're wondering, no spare tire back here, but you do got some tools and things like that going on in the back. 12 volt outlet and back seats fold down on each side. I can't say it's a 40-60 back seat split because technically it's not. Um, does have power tailgate, just hit this button here, drops that back down. Then there's even another button on the right you can click where you can actually make sure it locks when you, uh, when you do that. So that's kind of cool. And uh, there's a button right here, check that out. And so that's where your button is on the Panamera to open it. Is there a sensor? Yes, there is. So we'll go ahead and click that again, drop that right on back down. Backup sensors, backup camera, of course, you got LED lighting in the rear. And if we're out here when it gets dark tonight, we'll definitely uh, check out the ex exterior lighting on the Porsche Panamera. So that might be something to look forward to at the end of this video. Wood trim, and it's real wood, I can guarantee you that. And all your power buttons here, I mean, good gracious, is that not a lot of buttons there? Yes, it is, but there's a lot that it does. Let's go ahead and take a look at our seats. 
beautiful seats wow kind of an amaretto color leather lumbar supports power seats all your power options perforated leather lets it breathe and stay cooler leather wrap steering wheel it's uh let me go ahead and get on in the inside here and let's take a look at it oh boy okay all right so we just chad just entered luxury okay luxury and sport car in a mix if that makes any sense and uh yeah so what do you do with your key once you're inside the porsche panamera right well you just put it in the little cup holder down there and go ahead and close the door it's quiet it really is okay so that's definitely another luxury feature is having it quiet when you get inside the cabin okay or when you're sitting in the cockpit now i'm looking at things and i'm like you know it's been a little bit since i've been in a porsche how do i crank this car you know where is that at it's not over here where does the start button at because you know it's hot outside right now and i'm looking <laughs> well guess what it's over here that right right there if you can see it so put your foot on the brake so oh man i'm gonna roll the windows down again it's over 100 degrees today let me uh, get my seatbelt on i'll be back in just a second all right i'm back and i'm in the car i got my seatbelt on i'm ready to drive this porsche panamera turbo i want to see what the power is and everything again it's a 2014 so it's you know it's got a few years on it so anyways now that we're in here, the car's cranked up, AC's blowing nice and cold. I'm really liking this uh, this gauge up here. Take a look at that. Pretty cool. What's that telling me over there? Well, you know, you thought it was the time, but it, yeah, it, it is it is the time, isn't it? Look at that thing, kind of how it clicks through. 7.30, so it'll be dark here shortly. Your gauges look insanely cool, don't they? I mean, check a look at that, wow. I mean, does it really go that fast in mile per hour, 225? It possibly could. And then it's nice how you got some digital going on over here to flip through things off the steering wheel. Does it have paddle shifters? Of course it does. They're right here and right here. Very nice. Okay, you got a nice navigation screen. Not too big, but back in 2014, you thought that was big, didn't you? So you're wondering, man, there's so many buttons and controls. How do I control that over there? Well, just touch the screen, boom, that's all you got to do, okay? Dual climate control, you got little things right there to tell you about all that. I can't go over every single feature today. I mean, there's a lot of stuff inside of this Porsche Panamera Turbo. Uh, we can look at the lights right here. It is LED, as you can see right there, so that's nice to know. Um, don't hit the wrong button, it might eject you out the actual vehicle, couldn't it? Yeah, and then you got suede all up in here on your headrest you got oh crap handles on driver passenger side and in the rear now let's take a look here okay now this is what i've been talking about for any y'all have been watching some of these videos that's the proper lighting color for people doing makeup and things like that your your average car on the road does not have it's got more of a yellowish color uh, light inside the vanity mirror this is it okay now we've discovered when you move up to luxury vehicles you get that better lighting that you've been looking for so anyways all right cars in uh, in park I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive how do I know I'm doing that well look right there it's gonna show you I'm in drive camera likes to get out of focus when I'm doing that so anyways let's go ahead and drive it we're not gonna go anywhere too far but we'll cruise it down this back road here by the dealership so you know once you're in the vehicle and you're sitting in it it feels good okay it really does it's got a nice feel you can feel also the exhaust in the back rumbling and you can hear it that's why right now I have the window down just in case so we can hear some of that now what I'll do to help you hear it a little better is I'll put the car in neutral and I'll rev it up a little bit. Let's listen. Sounds good. Put it back in drive. Let's take it down the road. Let's see how she feels. This is this is nice. 
one thing I will tell you folks if you live in Charleston and you're watching on Charleston car videos or you're on Facebook watching on the Stokes VW page or Charleston cars for sale I will tell you out of all the Stokes stores you got the Honda store the Mazda Kia and Volkswagen Stokes VW mr. Mike does it folks when it comes to buying pre-owned vehicles on the lot this wasn't traded in mr. Mike bought it to sell and uh, he does a great job and I commend him on that of keeping vehicles on the lot that aren't basic and plain old rental cars okay you know a lot of the other stores have rental fleet vehicles out there and then they do have the trade-ins but they mr. Mike keeps really nice pieces of inventory in because first of all you know it's the car business they're they're here to make money and they're also here to sell nice cars to people and give them a good deal okay so you know what's wrong with having some nice inventory on ground to sell people I like it so let's go ahead and uh, give it a little we're going 35 mile an hour let's punch it and see what we feel here oh my oh whoa okay wow all right that was extremely fast I mean seriously folks uh, you probably saw the camera fly back my head flew back and I felt the g-force on my face no joke I swear to you that was like whoa it was fast I don't get too crazy you know when I'm driving I got a camera sitting in my hand trying to steer with the other one but I'm gonna drive it you know on areas that are kind of not so many people at but if I had a camera guy we could definitely have some fun in this so let's go ahead and turn it around steering feels great it's, it's you know it's low to the ground but it didn't scrape on anything when I pulled up that little steep incline there goodness that thing was fast so what I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out one more time for y'all so it's kind of quiet back here and let's really feel it one more time because it's I mean you just you don't give too many opportunities in life to feel power like this so uh, we're going seven miles an hour my camera's planted in my inside of my shoulder on my rig and I'm gonna go ahead and press down and feel this thing here. my head's on the headrest all right here we go three two one I mean, that's 55 mile an hour and very quick there and the exhaust I don't know if you could heard that but it does like a kind of a brap sound brap, brap sound when you uh, towards the end of the gear there before it shifts watch did you hear that I'm trying to get this closer to the window so you can hear it couldn't get that sound that time let's hear it again it's a really unique sound that the Porsche makes with the Panamera let's try this again wait for this car to go by all right here we go I can't get it to go again I'm trying to get that sound I'll go back and I'll add the clip in if you can hear it pretty sweet So that's the Porsche Panamera for sale at Stokes Volkswagen. A uh, beautiful car. And it's for sale for $99,000. So let me know what y'all think. If you're interested, come on by Stokes VW and take it out for a spin. And uh, doesn't look like I can get in from over here. They got some cones set up because today we're doing our Atlas party. The VW Atlas has hit ground. It's just one of those cars where it's got so much power where you want to accelerate. I could definitely get some of us in trouble, especially with the policeman. But that's it. Wow, wait. Cool. Let's go take it up front and park it. This guy over here is taking a selfie. Looks like he's taking it. No, he's on the phone. It's pretty amazing. We'll get out and take a look at it one more time. As always, let's take a look under the hood. We got the 4.8 liter V8 turbo. Sounds good. Looks good. Runs good. 
low mileage on this vehicle. That's it. Wow. Aircraft grade aluminum on your Porsches, which is very nice. It keeps it lightweight. It's definitely for sure. Closes just like so. And if you hang tight for a minute, I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit darker and we'll take a look at the lighting on this bad boy at nighttime. 